Welcome back, guys. I want to talk to you just for a few minutes about the elements of a circuit that we need to understand in order to solve problems. So I've got a circuit here that you might find on a quiz or on an exam. And then what you need to be able to do is quickly look at the circuit and figure out sort of what's going on. I'm going to use some terms that we're going to define. You probably already know them, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time defining them. Voltage, current, ohms, amps, volts, etc. Um, voltage is like an energy per unit charge. Charge is like the charge on an electron measured in coulombs. Um, and current is simply the flow of charge through a circuit. So if you pick a point in the circuit and you ask how many electrons per second are passing by that point, that'll tell you how many coulombs per second are passing by that point, and that determines the current at that point. The current is the number of coulombs per second, which is called an ampere, passing by a certain point. So points in a circuit where multiple elements come together is called a node. The first node I want to talk about is this node at the bottom of the circuit. I'm going to call that guy the ground node. The ground node is the reference node. It's the node relative to which you measure all the voltages in the circuit. Typically, we're going to assign the ground node zero volts. It's a little bit like the top surface of my desk. I measure the top surface of my desk. I tell you it's 12 feet. You say, Dr. Spicklemeyer, it can't be 12 feet. The desk is only, you know, two or three feet tall. I say, well, I'm measuring it relative to the ground floor of my house. So the height that I measure for the top surface of my desk depends a lot on the reference height that I use to measure re with respect to. So same way with the ground node in a circuit. All the other voltages are measured relative to that ground potential. Typically, we choose that to be zero volts. I've got two other nodes here that are interesting. There's one I'm going to call node 1, another one I'm going to call node 2. These guys have an unknown voltage that I have to figure out by applying various laws and rules in order to determine the voltage of those nodes. And each element in the circuit has an unknown current flowing through it, except for the one on the right there. That one has a definite current flowing through it. We'll talk about that in a second. So the first thing, uh, other than resistances, is this guy. It's a voltage source, so let's, uh, let's talk about that. A voltage source is simply an object in your circuit that has a very definite voltage. So a good example from life is you go to the hardware store, you buy a battery, you buy a battery based on its voltage. It could be a 6-volt battery or a 9-volt battery or a 1.5-volt battery, but the whole job of that battery in its... Uh, role in the circuit is to establish a fixed voltage difference between its terminals. So this particular voltage source is 11 volts. Over here on the right I have a source called a current source which has a definite current. So its job in life not, is not to supply a definite voltage drop but to deliver a fixed amount of current. So that's a current source. There's one other node in this circuit that I'm going to call the extra node. It turns out I don't, it's not very interesting because it's connected to the ground node through a fixed voltage source. I already know its voltage, so I don't need to solve any equations. I can just tell you, looking at the circuit, it's got to be 11 volts. So there's only really two interesting nodes in the circuit that have an unknown voltage. There's a bunch of objects in the circuit that have unknown currents. Um, and so the strategies we're going to be developing throughout the semester are strategies for writing down equations, solving equations to determine the voltage of these two nodes that I don't know in terms of the things in the circuit that I do know. The last thing I want to point out is that uh, the squiggly line guys, they're called resistors, and um, they're going to be sprinkled throughout the current in some, throughout the circuit in some way. That'll depend on the, the circuit in question. Now there's all kinds of different problems you could, you could face in dealing with a circuit like this. I could give you the voltages on multiple nodes and ask you for unknown resistances. I could give you the currents through a couple of branches and ask you for some unknown current. There's lots of different puzzles that you might have to solve in dealing with a circuit like this. But the main thing for today is just understand what, where, how to identify where nodes are, how to determine the ground, pick a ground node, for example, and uh, and just be able to identify different aspects of the circuit. So don't forget to do the quiz at the end of this video, and we'll see you guys in class.